Hello everybody, this is D-Laps, and I'm here to do a review for the greatest robot that ever existed on fucking film, and I'm not talking about Iron Man, I'm talking about RoboCop! Now, I'm sure you know the story, Alex Murphy is a cop, and in his first week he gets gunned down by these crazy criminals, and then he resurrects into a robot, similar to Jesus, besides the robot part? Anyway, OCP, the evil corporation that designed and made RoboCop, pretty much erased his memory, but it doesn't take long for Robocop to recapture his thoughts and memories that occurred throughout his life, like his family and kid, and the moment he was blown completely to shit by that crazy band of thugs, and pretty much from that point on, it becomes a vengeance movie, where he tries to track down every one of those sons of bitches to fuck them up, which is epic. One of the things that makes Robocop such a sweet movie is the ultra-violent stylized kill scenes, which are insanely brutal and graphic, especially the unrated version. When you see Peter Weller's character just get blown away, it is horrifying. I would say Robocop is an action sci-fi dark comedy because all the gore you see in the movie is so over the top, it's almost cartoonish. Now, since this came out in the late 80s, all the special effects are practical. There's no digital effects in this, and it makes the movie look so much more authentic. And real. Because let's be honest, Hollywood doesn't really use practical effects too much. Maybe Star Wars Episode 7 did, but now they use computers for everything. Like, look at Robert Downey Jr. and the Iron Man suit. For fuck's sakes, man, he's wearing a rubber suit. They put the entire suit on the guy. Lame! Now, what kind of sucks about the 80s, though, is because they had to use stop motion to do most of their big action scenes. Like with all the scenes with Ed 209. Pretty much everything there is stop motion with a live actor kind of going against a green screen. And it does a decent job, but it is still very noticeable when you see these two factors come together. And it just doesn't look right. But that's the problem with stop motion. It will never look right. That's why digital kind of kicks ass. But there's something about the old style, it just looks too cool to ignore. When it comes to the cast members of the movie, they're all perfectly cast. To Peter Weller as Robocop, or the corporate sons of bitches that just want to rule the world. To the hilariously entertaining murderous thugs. Everybody in this movie is perfectly cast, except for Lewis, uh, Robocop's partner. And I, I don't like her, her character is so weak compared to everyone else. The soundtrack kind of features like a future techno sound. It's actually really cool, especially when they're in the nightclub. That is a wicked beat. I wish I owned that song. It's really cool. So overall, I think Robocop is a really great movie. If you haven't seen it, you got to watch it. I give it a 9 out of 10. I absolutely love this movie. And there's so many things I didn't mention about this movie, like the really funny commercials it has. It's basically satire, you know, commercialism, kind of showing, poking fun at America. They want big things, big profits, big ego. This movie's full of dark comedy, little small bits here, bits there. You'll love this movie, man. Why haven't you watched this? I'm sure you watched this. If you haven't, you're crazy. I, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. If you haven't, you're crazy. You're crazy, man. I'm, I'm out of here. Fuck, fuck this. I'm out of here. You believe they never see fucking Robocop? What the hell?